Welcome to this interesting question. Given are three quadrants, this one brown quadrant and two blue quadrants. The distance between the center of brown quadrant and the blue quadrant is 6 cm. Exciting part is with this limited information, we have to find the total area of these blue quadrants. Let's check the solution. We'll solve the question by two approaches. First approach will be formal approach using mathematical formulas. And the second approach will be logical approach on how to solve the question without using any paper or pen. Let's check the first approach. Here with respect to brown quadrant OA and OB, these are the radius and thus triangle BOA, it's a right angle isosceles triangle and thus here angle A will be 45 degrees, angle B will be 45 degrees. From point C, let's draw perpendicular on OA and call this length as A centimeter. Now in triangle CDA, this angle C here that will be 45 degree and therefore DA length that will be same as A centimeter. How about CA? By Pythagoras theorem, this will be A root 2 centimeter and thus A root 2 is what is radius of this big brown quadrant. Similarly, from point C, let's draw perpendicular on BO and call this length as B centimeter and thus BE will also be B centimeter and BC length will be B root 2. So radius of this small brown small blue quadrant that's B root 2 centimeter. Now here EC is B thus OD length that will be same as B centimeter. If we look at triangle COD here applying Pythagoras theorem we get A square plus B square is C square. So multiplying both LHS and RHS by 2. Now here writing 2 as root 2 square. So LHS term will become root 2 A whole square plus root 2 B whole square is 72. Multiplying full equation by pi by 4 will get equation in this form. Now here the first term is representing the area of this big blue quadrant and the second term is representing area of this smaller blue quadrant and thus full LHS that's representing the total blue area which is nothing but 18 pi centimeter square and that's our answer. Now let's solve the same question by logical approach without any paper or pen in 30 seconds. For logical approach, we'll use this limited data for our advantage. So here in this question, only OC length is what is deciding the area of these blue quadrants. So as long as OC length is maintained at 6 cm, this area of blue quadrants will remain constant. So how about if I'll shift this OC point slightly on the left side changing the dimensions of this brown quadrant and blue quadrant such that this OC length is maintained as 6 cm. Now this figure is meeting all the original conditions of the question. So the area total area of this blue quadrant will remain same as of the original figure. How about if I shift this point C slightly more on the left so that OC will become perpendicular length. In that case, we'll see that this blue quadrant will become a point quadrant. Now this figure, believe it or not, it's still meeting all the original conditions of the question. Only thing is that second blue quadrant has become a point quadrant. And this OC length, if it's 6 cm, then OA length will also be 6 cm. And CA by Pythagoras theorem, it will be 6 root 2 cm and total blue area that will be that area of point quadrant that's 0 plus area of this quadrant and area of this quadrant that is pi by 4 r square solving it will get total blue area is 18 pi centimeter square same as our original answer i hope you enjoyed the solution i will see you in next video till then tata bye bye